well established in Sattva Guna. He, whoever that person be, becomes Medhavi, a wise person. Whoever that person be, becomes a wise person. Why? Because anxiety which can create in a mind, because of Rajas and Tamas are controlled. And what has to be performed, the person performs to his best of his ability. Detached to the outcome, mind settles. Mind becomes quite see. Our mind today is standing there and staring at us. Unable to control it. Absolutely difficult. Long ago, somewhere early 90s, I remember we made one poster for Chinmaya Yuva Kendra. A poster was made. A dragon, kind of demonic, huge on top. One small girl looking up and this dragon is right there. And here and there from the dragon, it is bleeding. With screech, this girl screams, help. And in that dragon, we wrote, mind. You see the poster? The mind is there like a dragon. Huge monster. And you are looking for help. Screeching. And the down line was to manage mind, join chick. Very, very impactful poster. The mind is like that, like a monster. However hard we try, that we are not able to control. And it still stays there. It can get so turbulent. It can get so violent. It can get you into such depressive moods. Constantly fluctuating. How to deal with the mind? Constantly fluctuating. Not able to handle it. And we have carried this mind all the while. To that extent, we don't even believe if someone says something can be done to that mind. We don't even believe, isn't it? Ah, maybe for somebody else. For someone, maybe. Forget, mind is too chronic. Too hard to handle this mind. We do, it has come to a point we don't believe that this mind of mind can be brought, can be managed. You see this verse? If we have to perform all our activities, whatever is expected from us, perform. Step number one. Don't compromise on your duties. Go ahead and perform. One. Two. To those, whatever you have to perform, give your best. Nothing shocked in that. Three, that's the ability. Give your best. Be attached. Be detached to it. Don't be attached to it. Giving your best. This is Sattva Guna. In this way, we practice for a while. Don't you think our mind would come under control? The word he used is Medavi, a wise person. Practicing this way, Yajna Dhana Tapa Karma, if a person goes on practicing these three, with the spirit what Krishna said, mind will settle down. It would become peace. This monstrous mind, otherwise unable to handle, can be slowly tamed. 
can be slowly brought in control. Every job demands its effort. If this we do, mind comes under control. So Krishna says here, such a person who renounces and who is established in Sattva Guna becomes a wise person. There is no doubt in this. Chinna Samshaya. There is no doubt in this. Just practice this way. Your own obligatory duties, wherever we are placed, we have a duty in that field. Perform that duty well with detachment. You will find that peace coming to you. You will become a wise man. In this, there is no doubt. Krishna says clearly, in this there is no doubt. All doubts end here. Just doing this way. And how does that man live? For him who is established in something like this, he does not hate. Na dveshti akushalam karma. Not very pleasant action. I have to perform an action which is not very pleasant. Akushalam. Unpleasant. He will still perform. And he will be the same if he has to perform kushalam. Favorable, conducive, lovely action. One would perform the same. There is no aversion to difficult things. Or even if one has to do things which are not pleasant. Krishna is talking to Arjuna. Winding up the entire discourse given so far. There he is telling, a war is not a pleasant action. War is not a pleasant action, definitely. It's very hard. But you are placed there. He would keep his mind the same in performing actions which are absolutely pleasant, very nice, beautiful. You like doing it. And there could be actions which one may not like. One may not be happy doing it. It may not be what you want, but it's to be done. It must be done. It does not matter whether I like it or not, but it must be done. Isn't it? We generally shuttle between likes and dislikes. It should be what is good should be done, not what people like. What people like, oh, I don't. I like this, therefore I am doing. I don't like this, therefore I am not doing. If it is good, it doesn't matter. If I don't like it, it must be done. Why? Just do actions this way. That is the field in you are and one will grow. Pleasant, unpleasant, doesn't matter. It is important, therefore we are doing it. There was one sadhu and he wanted to build a temple. Because he felt in that village a temple there is important because people are moving out, getting astray without any anchoring. A temple is a great anchor. So he felt a temple has to be built. Went around asking donation. He went to a particular man who was quite rude at him and said, get lost, I can't give you anything. But he was rich. Next day he went again. Sir, anything for the temple? Come back tomorrow. No. Not today. Don't disturb me. Third day, fourth day, again get lost, get lost, get lost. Fifth day. Sir, I have come back again. That guy was so annoyed, he spat at him. Just spat straight on his face. The man takes a piece of cloth, wipes it, completely calm, patient, 
wipes it and says, this is for me, I don't mind. Can you do something for the temple? Is it possible that this person can get insulted? It's how you look at it, isn't it? You want to do this to me? Do, I don't mind. But I came here not for me. I came here for the temple. It is his work I'm asking. But you are in a position by which you can definitely spare something. Why can't you do? See the action. It needs to be done. It may not be pleasant. It may not be pleasant. But that is important. It has to be done. I will do only things which are pleasant. How many people lay conditions that way? I will do things which are only pleasant. Hmm. If it is unpleasant, but it is important, it has to be done, it has to be done. When one does it that way, with absolute clear mind, rooted, established in Sattva Guna, not bothered about favorable, unfavorable conditions, and still doing. Take Gurudev, for example. 70 plus years. Bypass surgery. The heart functions 18%. Anyone would have preferred let me choose a place and stay quiet. He said, no, there's still so much work to be done. Let us do. With that, and it is not conducive. It is not comfort. When you, when you fit into an itinerary like that, then you know how hard it is. There is no place he belongs to. There is no place where he can come back and say, okay, this is my space. That's very comfort. Home, what you call. There is no place called home. Aniketa, he was. There is no place where you can say, I belong here. Nothing. Either the whole world is yours or nothing is yours. Moving from place to place, 70 odd years, hard work. Why? It needs to be done. This is important. It should be done. People would benefit. The Lord has given me something. Let me keep giving it. How many kilometers can you walk per day? Hail and hearty. How many kilometers? 25, 30? Shankara walked across India four times. Can you imagine what it is? Is he? Four times across per day if you have to walk 25, 30 kilometers think length and breadth of India let us say the length Kanyakumari to Kashmir 3500 to 4000 kilometers Gujarat the time let us say Mansarovar which was part of India then Another 3,000, 4,000 kilometers. 
8,000, 9,000 kilometers one way, four times. Very easy, comfort. And that's the only mode of transport. 30, 40,000 kilometers. Why? This is important. It needs to be done. It has to be done. Therefore, do it. The God has given you the talent. He has given you the ability. Do it. Why? It must be done. It is good karma. Good action. Noble. Do. Whether it is conducive, not conducive, whether it is fine, pleasant, unpleasant, easy, hard, it needs to be done. There are masters who walked that way. So he says here, one who renounces, rather detaches himself to the fruit of action, becomes a wise person. There is no doubt because he is free from all doubts. And he does not hate an unpleasant action, nor is he attached to a pleasant action. Not hating unpleasant. Ah, it has to be done. Okay, it's hard. Let me do. But at the same time, not being attached to pleasant action. Why? If I'm attached, I want it again. So living without attachment, performing actions... That way, by a living being, this way one should live. A person cannot give up actions. A living being, a person can't drop all actions. Activities cannot be dropped. There would be certain actions. All actions to be dropped, not possible. So actions cannot be dropped. But in this spirit, if we perform with a sense of detachment, then one is established in Tyaga. Why in Tyaga, the first qualification we saw, the result which comes to that, we have no anxiety. That way, whoever performs is well established. Such a person, he says, uh, be it favorable, agreeable, not agreeable, comfortable, not comfortable, I like this, I don't like this. He does not swing between these likes and dislikes. Action and its results. The result will be something which I like, very good. It may not be what I like, but it came, I worked for it. Or it could be mixed. I like a bit, it's okay, not very pleasant. Whether I don't like it, whether I like it, or it is a mixed result, he who accepts it and moves on. Saying actions would give. And to that, the person never stays attached. Stays detached and performs. Such a person gets free while living. Lives here with a mind completely free. It's not something after death. Action does not bind such person while living. And when a person like that drops, the karma which he performed does not bind him even after death. Continuing. Panchaitani Mahabaho Panchaitani Mahabaho Karanani ni bodhame, Karanani ni bodhame, Sankhe kritante proktani, Sankhe kritante proktani, Siddhaye sarva karmanam, Siddhaye sarva karmanam, Adhishthanam tatha karta, Adhishthanam tatha karta, Karanam cha prithagvidham, Karanam cha prithagvidham, Vividhas cha prithag cheshtaha, Vividhas cha prithag cheshtaha, 
दैवात्र पंचम दैवात्र पंचम शरीर वांगमनो भिर्यत शरीर वांगमनो भिर्यत कर्म प्रारभते नर कर्म प्रारभते नर न्याय वा विपरीत वा न्याय वा विपरीत वा पंचते तेतव पंचते तेतव Krishna says for an action five factors are required for any action what are they we shall see o arjuna for the accomplishment of all actions karnani five factors are needed these are mentioned in the scriptures be it vedant or be it sankhya sankhya philosophy is very logical by kapil rishi and the word here used is sankhya but what they actually mean is like in the second chapter we understand sankhya is only as vedant here also be it vedant be it in scriptures all wise people they have said actions have five factors and you know them hear that from me o arjuna understand what are they one is the body adishthana the base body is one the doership is another two body doership third organs of perception fourth organs of action fifth presiding deities of five elements five elements in any action these are required body organs of action organs of perception the feeling i am the doer and the presiding deity deity here means five elements without this an action is not possible if you have to analyze action any activity it has to be seen with these five so the body is the base organs of action organs of perception and the doer so these five factors are there in any action so why is he saying that he says here hear that from me o arjuna these five are needed for any action these five are the causes without this an action is not possible a uh, action is possible only with these five a person undertakes so with these five only a uh, action is taken whether it is righteous or otherwise whether it is righteous or otherwise to perform an action we need a body the doership is needed organs of action organs of perception and the touch of the five elements as the presiding deity daivam deva without this no action is possible good or bad they come under this category only it is always important for us to understand and vedant particularly is a science which gives you an insight it's like definitions so he says these are the five factors which makes a person act whether it is good or bad these are the five factors so we need to understand very clearly if these are the five factors why is he giving this information i somewhere identify with these five either with the body or with the organs of perception nyanendriya or with karmendriya or with this doership somewhere we identify 
and this identification is my problem since i identify with some of them i keep entertaining this feeling i am the doer i am doing this it is because of wrong identification with one of them if we are alert to it then we would not identify ourselves with it we can withdraw easily with understanding that is the biggest gain most beautiful factor of knowledge is knowledge can give us clarity and once we get clarity instantly we are free once the clarity is done instantly we get ourselves free so the data is given so that we understand it we'll take the next three verses tatraivam sati kartaram tatraivam sati kartaram atmanam kevalam tu yah atmanam kevalam tu yah पश्यत्यकृतबुद्धित्वात् पश्यत्यकृतबुद्धित्वात् न स पश्यति दुर्मतिः न स पश्यति दुर्मतिः यस्य नाहंकृतो भावः यस्य नाहंकृतो भावः बुद्धिर्यस्य न लिप्यते बुद्धिर्यस्य न लिप्यते हत्वापि स इमान लोकान हत्वापि स इमान लोकान न हन्ति न निबध्यते न हन्ति न निबध्यते ज्ञानम् येयम् परिज्ञाता ज्ञानम् येयम् परिज्ञाता त्रिविधा कर्म चोदना त्रिविधा कर्म चोदना करणम् कर्म करतेति करणम् कर्म करतेति त्रिविध कर्म संग्रह त्रिविध कर्म संग्रह We need to break ourselves free from this identification and the strongest identification comes with this feeling i am the doer when we when certain things happen at somewhere we start identifying with these five and this feeling gets established i am the doer i am the enjoyer i this feeling doer gets established and with this feeling i experience only limitation if this feeling i am the doer can be dropped with understanding with clarity with knowledge if this feeling can be dropped this wrong notion can be dropped we become free how to do this what is the right knowledge that i should gain to do this which is the right action i should perform how to do it what is the right knowledge what is the right action what kind of an action i must perform a sadhana i can do to free myself from this that will be the topic we shall take up tomorrow so that we understand how to drop the doership how to gain the right knowledge knowledge also is tamasic knowledge also there is rajasic knowledge there is sattvic knowledge there is so uh, tamasic action rajasic action sattvic action so what would be the right knowledge right action which can get us free from this doership we shall take that up tomorrow 
ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम